everyone, I'm a forensic scientist and my name is Shania Warner. This project is my forensic career project and what I do forensic in is crime scene investigations. So I hope Hi. you enjoy So it. you probably have some questions about my experiences and my education. So to be a forensic scientist or a crime scene investigator, you have to have your bachelor's degree in either science, some type of science, biology, some law enforcement actually let you get away with having a criminal justice degree, but that's only some, not all does that, only some. So as far as um, experiences, you have to have one or more year to be able to get into the field. You have to have at least one years of experience. So you can't just really jump into it right away. I mean, some maybe, allows you to have you know allows you to go into it straight away but not also one year or more so some of the tools we use first off for example a magnifying glass to look at small traces of evidence and to pick up that evidence we use tweezers we also use latex gloves for in case we need to pick up evidence we use paper bags to put on our shoes we use the crime scene tape. Most of you guys probably know what I'm talking about is like a bright yellow tape. And we would put that around the crime scene. Sometimes we have to bring pen and paper to document what we see. Sometimes we need a camera, etc. We need a lot of tools just to make sure we don't miss any evidence and we need to collect all of it. So that's just a little bit of the tools that I use. We typically work about 40 hours a day, but we do need to be flexible because when a crime happens, we have to be attending for that crime. So we get calls like one in the morning, 12 in the afternoon. So we, it's 40 hours or more. It's a work day for me. It's not always crazy. Sometimes I do need to be in a lab and do simple stuff. Like I need to review over photos that I take of a crime scene, documentations, I have to sometimes attend to court even. So it's not always hectic. We do have normal slow days like packaging and sending out packages and stuff like that. You may be wondering what are my challenges. It has so much honestly but to narrow it down one of the main ones is mental stress because you have to well number one you have to be woken up out of your sleep most of the times because you know you gotta go and um, some of the crime scenes are just very brutal and hard to watch so it, it takes a toll on you. Also, it's a very tedious job so you have to have patience. You have to, if sometimes the things take so long to process so you have to make sure you have patience. Um, as far as that's about it, well, personally for me, for challenge. As a crime scene investigator, what I contribute to my community is making sure that I gather all the possible evidence to make sure the person that committed the crime gets locked up. Because we don't want people that's been doing murders and hideous crimes out there running. So that's what I contribute to my community, making sure everyone is safe and the community is safe. My opinion, my career path as a forensic scientist, crime scene investigator, I think my job is amazing and let me tell you why. It's very interesting seeing like the different crimes, it's very interesting seeing like how this happened and what way and gathering information and just you know trying to figure out like a puzzle piece. Like if you're into puzzles, this would be a great career path for you. I mean it's always about trying to find who do the crime and trying to catch the bad guy. It's very intriguing, well, personally for me, it's very intriguing, it gets me on my toes, it gets my brain working, it gets me thinking, it gets me moving, so that's why I think this would be a great career path for anyone. I, I would recommend it for anyone, so that's it for my questions, guys. Thank you for watching.